Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be taking a look at, yeah, a monster of a ration. This is a 96-hour survival ration brought to us by the people at Minotaur Trading Company. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. Okay, so before we get started, we have to kind of get some things out there in the open. Minotaur Trading Company, uh, Bob and the crew over there, they make a lot of these custom rations, a lot of cosplay rations, and they just recently discontinued their Ration of the Month Club, which was to me, is a, is a really cool idea. I think the logistics got to be a little too much, sourcing product and, and then having it you know, deliver to you, you know, in a timely manner and all that kind of stuff. And I do have to levy some criticism here before we get into all this. This is a product that I ordered over a year ago. I didn't order this particular product. I actually, I ordered one of his big themed rations. And I think it was, uh, I think it was an Apollo, if I remember correctly. Like I said, it's been, it's been quite some time, but I wanted it to go with this this ration because this is a 48 hour survival ration that he made and he had another one you know that had this really cool graphic in the box and and i believe it was an apollo and you know i ordered it and never heard nothing and that's going to be my scathing criticism is i got no communication and actually i had some of you guys who uh, watch my videos actually comment to me and ask me if i knew what was up with the shipping from Minotaur Trading Company. And I'm gonna tell all of you right now watching this video, I am no different than you. I place my order just like everybody else, and I don't have any special, you know, communication, no channel of of dialogue or anything. So instead of canceling the order, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably would have done, because I did order a lot of stuff, and I did get part of it and i did a video on that it was let's see what was it it was the the ammo can and a mystery box and in that video i even said and i'll, I'll put a tag up up somewhere over here but i did say that i was still waiting on one more item and i just now received it well it's, it's been here about a week this is on their website right now and it's 285 dollars so i'm i'm yeah, I'm pretty pretty sure that it was more expensive than what I had ordered before. So, but I stuck it in, you know, I didn't, you know, I kind of hung in there and I didn't, you know, try to get my money back or nothing, which, you know, like I said, I'm pretty sure a lot of people would have. But to sum that all up, I'm really glad that he sent me it. You know, I'm, I'm glad that he, he, he completed my order and I just wish there would have been more communication. That's, that's my biggest criticism because if you'd have told me, Hey, it's going to take me a couple months because I'm having problems getting stuff. I'm, I'm just, just me personally, not, not speaking for you, but I would have been, yes, yeah, that's cool. You know, just, Hey, whenever you can get the stuff in, you know, send it out. No big deal. So that's just kind of, that's, that's just me. Okay. So I just want to kind of put that out there and yeah. So make of that what you will. But, but if, if you, if you have problems with Minotaur training company, you know, don't, don't, Come, don't comment me and thinking that I have any sort of connection to anybody over there because I don't. Uh, I, I'm just a customer, you know, just like, just like anybody else. Okay, now all that crap's out of the way. 96-hour survival ration kit. Okay, so this is, this is something that is very interesting. You're, you're not going to throw this in a backpack, obviously, because this thing is absolutely massive. And we do have an inspection date of March 2025 for the MRE entrees and pretty much 2042 for everything else because we got a lot of freeze-dried uh, components mixed with regular military ration components. That would be the only way to, to uh, explain that. And when we get into it, we're going to find out what we got. But I will say this, okay? This is 15 pounds, 5, 10, 15 pounds of survival 
hopefully survival goodness. So we're going to check it out. Now, what would this be for? Well, that's for you in the comment section down below. You can tell me what, <laughs> what this is going to be for. This is going to be something that's going to go in, you know, your bug out location or, or, or whatever. But one thing I, I just noticed was, golly, I'm missing around. I got some P38s, right? Yeah. Taped to the inside of the box here, so there's three of those. I didn't 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 notice that when I opened it earlier because I did take a little sneak peek. So yeah. Okay, so we've got a card for a MRE. Now I tell you what, we're just gonna start pulling stuff out here. Okay, we got some nut raisin mix, uh, 0153 date code. And this is just gonna be some some normal some normal MRE, you know, stuff you're gonna find in in a, a traditional, you know, military ration. And man, I'm gonna have a big old pile of stuff by the time we get done. Okay, dry roasted peanuts. Let's see, where's the date code on this bad boy? I uh, don't see a date code. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time looking for it because we got a lot of stuff. Okay, so we got some dry roasted peanuts. One thing I will say, the vacuum seal on that, look at all that light reflection. Man, that vacuum seal is intense. Like that, that's some super, that's some, that's some industrial vacuum sealing right there. Okay, so we got a one ounce peanut butter. I just have to do this. I don't know why. I feel compelled. I feel compelled to need. Let's see. Date code, date code, date code. There is a date code. What is the date code? I'm not going to look for date codes on everything. Okay, we got peanut butter. We got lemon lime. What? Lemon lime flavored, no fruit juice. Okay. I guess I should have flipped it over. Beverage base powder, lemon lime. All right, very good. Okay, we got grape jelly. We got cheese spread. Cheese spread. Two cheese spreads, one peanut butter. I'm going to try to make some order out of this. I don't know how successful I'm going to be, but I'm going to try to make some order. Okay, we got a cranberry packet, 0135. We'll think cranberries. We'll put that over here with the nut raisin mix and the peanuts. And then we got some tortillas, some plain tortillas. Old staple of, of, of good mixing MRE is some tortillas. Let's see, where's the date code on this? Come on, man, there's somewhere. There's somewhere. I know it. I know it. I can see it. 0127. There we go. 0127. Oh, let's see what we got here. We got a multi-grain snack bread. And all this stuff so far, this is all going to be MRE source components. Let's see. All right, man. We got a vanilla pound cake. These things, these things are not too bad, the vanilla pound cakes. Okay, put that over there too. Let's see. Okay, about to say, I, I'm hoping we got some crackers. Okay, we got some regular crackers. And these are going to be 0113. These are going to be newer, so no salt. Don't really know what year they stopped putting salt in them. I know I watch a lot of YouTubers do uh, MRE videos. I'm not really an MRE guy, but I know that's a big gripe. You know, they, they wish they would go back and put the salt. But I think the problem, if I was just to surmise a guess as a lowly civilian, there's so much sodium in everything else that they put in MRE. Putting, so, putting salt on the crackers was probably putting you, you way out there, so they probably didn't need it, which is probably why they removed it, if I, had, if I had to guess. But anyway, anyway. Okay, we got three hot beverage bags, and these are standard MRE Fair beverage bags that have, you know, nice little graduation uh, marks there on them for, what, 6, 8, and 12 ounce? Yeah. And, you know, they tell you, place stuff in bag, place stuff, fill, wine, close, shake, drink. That's about as military as you can get, isn't it? Uh, let's see here. We got some cookies and cream Pocky and some chocolate Pocky. I like Pocky. I like the chocolate ones. So we got four, two of each, two chocolate and two cookies and cream Pockies. Don't know how good this stuff would stay, you know, good, because this is sort of just a regular commercial wrapper. So I don't know, maybe uh, it would be something, uh, an idea to maybe put all four of those or, or two by two and then vacuum seal them. That would... Well, I don't know. They'd probably tear the pot. I don't know. I don't know, but I know in a in a standard, you know, sort of commercial 
package. It's not going to be as, as secure and, and crazy tight as, as these, these military vacuum seal stuff. Okay, it looks like we got some, some regular MRE spoons. We got four of these, and these are the good, the good brown shovels. So yeah, that's good. We got four of those. Okay, let's see. Uh, what we got here? We got some. We got some hot hands, which, whew, video I put up. The last video I put up, I did that video on Sunday. Today's Monday. And it's still cold like today. It was cold. That wind, whoo, man, that wind is rough, especially on, on us, us guys down here on the Gulf Coast, man. We don't like, we don't like all that flim flam. These things work really good. There's, it seems to be there's only one pair of these. I don't see any more, but I don't know if there's stuff that maybe fell in between. There's a bunch of cans in here, so we'll, we'll, we'll dig around and see what's, what's what. What's what? All right, we got three, three standard flameless ration heaters 0156 is the date on that one let's see 0160 is the date on that one and 0107 is the date on that one all right there we go okay so we got three of those well let's see what are these what are these what is this okay there's an mre entry. okay okay Okay, so we got Alibaba. Boy, that's 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 strange. I've never seen this. A chocolate bar. So this is a white chocolate. So this is a white chocolate bar, which you know you are gonna need chocolate in any type of, of MRE uh, survival situation. You know, having chocolate's a good, a very good source of nutrition. Believe it or not. Okay, and we looks like we got a wafer coated with chocolate and coconut. Yo, man. Now, I, this is my jam right here. Okay. And it's this is the same. It says Alibaba. Is that the same like Alibaba, like the 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 company that you know, ex, you know, ships all the stuff from overseas? It's strange that a company would pick that name, Alibaba. A L I B A B A. I'm just assuming it's Alibaba. I don't know. Okay, so we got two of each, and I'm gonna tell you, man, this 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 uh, wafer coated, oh, man, with chocolate and coconut, man, that that ooh, that sounds good, man. I might have to tear that and give it give her give her a look and see what she's all about. I like that. Okay, now we got some we got some MRE entrees. Uh, we got a beef stew that is actually a beef stew, and it's in a sleeve, the the uh, heating sleeve that you would get. In an MRE, you know, it would be in there for you to put it, put put it in, like that. You know, stick it in the flameless uh, ration heater, or I'm not. What am I saying? I'm talking gibberish. Put this inside the FRH. Take the FRH. Open this up. Stick it in there, and there you go. And then when you get it out, you can put the gusset together like this, and you can slice it, and you can eat out out of this, so you don't burn your hand if it got that hot, or you know, you just. Use a tear notches, tear across, and eat it right out of the pouch. Anyway, that was the longest uh, uh, diversion ever to describe some beef stew and Marie entree. This is distributed by Ameriqual Food. So, we got some from Ameriqual. Okay. And what's the date code? Date code. Date code. 0115. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, and now we got Italian sausage with peppers and onions and marinara sauce. I have seen people eat this and say they actually like it. And this was packed for Sapaco. So we got an Ameriqual and we got a Sapaco. And this is going to be what? What's the date code on this? Ooh, it's smudged on the date code, but I do see a 01. What? I don't know, I see a zero, so I, I'm assuming most of all this stuff is around the same date code kind of time period, so I'm just going to go ahead and go out on a limb here and say this stuff is probably all from the same period of time, which is fine. All right, so we got a little portable, a little portable like travel toothbrush, which is always handy. And then we got two of these little single use uh, packages of toothpaste. Well, I guess you would probably need to use it 
more than once because this is a 96 hour ration not a 48 hour ration and obviously you know that's brushing your teeth once maybe there's more in here we'll, we'll keep an eye on that too but so far we got two packages of, of this toothpaste which to be fair you don't necessarily need to use the whole package uh at one go you could you know use half the package okay anyway i'm not here to scientifically meter that out so okay uh let's see oh yes okay so we got some tortillas and we got some beef taco filling which you could also use the tortillas for the italian sausage with peppers and onions and marinara sauce you could also put that in this in, in a tortilla and eat that but we got some beef taco filling yeah that's what i'm talking about and this was mariqual this is packaged for Ameriqual. And it is beef taco filling. 011, is that a five? No, 0116. All right. Okay, so, so far we have three entrees from traditional MR. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, nope, nope. We got a side. We got a side here of Santa Fe, Santa Fe style beans and rice. Uh, uh, Santa Santa Fe style brown rice and beans. Man, I can't talk when I get behind this camera. I'm gonna tell you if you go back to the prior video of the Battle Box unboxing, unboxing. I was editing that video, and I'm totally sorry for like taking this off in a completely different direction that has nothing to do with this. But I actually said in that video, I was looking at at, at the CRKT knife, and I meant to say the aesthetics. I said the Air aesthetics. I made up a word. I completely made up a word. And I'm, I'm and you know, post, you know, just watching the video, making sure the sound's cool and nothing's crazy and out of whack or anything. And I'm like, sitting there listening to it, and I heard me say that. And I'm like, what did I just say? I said, boy, I'm gonna know. And so far, I've looked at the comments, and nobody's, you know, nobody's made fun of me yet. So kudos to all of you for not making fun of me. It happens, okay? It happens. I'm thinking ahead, trying not to give you a lot of dead space, so I keep talking, and, you know, my brain just goes off and does whatever it wants to do, and it just makes up words, apparently. Okay, so what we got here? We got Made in China. I'm assuming this is some kind of just a sleep system. Camping, what? Oh, okay, this is a, what is this, hammock? Does that say hammock? What does that say? I need my glasses. And the glasses, what does that say? Yeah, camping hammock, lightweight. Uh, camel dark gray. All right, awesome. So we got a hammock, a little hammock system. Okay, very cool. Because, yeah, this, this is, this is uh, sold as a survival ration kit. Not just a ration, but a kit. So we got, we got a hammock. So we got a sleeping system here. Okay, let's see. What is this? This looks interesting. Okay, fire tender. Okay, so we got a, a little tin of some Minotaur fire tender. And some guys that I've seen, you know, take this outside and mess around with it, say it's really, really good. And uh, he's got in quotes here, a little dab will do. And something that I do in my house, I don't know if you guys do this or, or crazy like I am, uh, dryer lint. I have a huge Ziploc bag and I save all the dryer lint. You know, I just don't throw it away. Because you save it, take some petroleum jelly, and just, you know, get you a bunch of it, and just take your hands and rub some petroleum jelly in it, pack it in, in a tin or, or something. That's fire tender, yo. And normally people just throw that stuff out, you know. So, yeah, I don't know if you guys do that or what you think about it, but yeah. Okay, we got some little tins here that have a spoon and fork. One with a light bulb, two with a light bulb, uh, and two with med pack. And these are taped up. I'm curious about what this one is with the with the spork and foon. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and open this one. Oh man, they're all taped up real nice. Man. Let me see if I can get this to get the tape off of it. Because I'm really curious to see what's in this one. Alright. Ooh, okay, so this is a lot of seasonings. Okay, we got salt, pepper. Let's see. Okay, so we got salt, pepper. We got two sugars. It looks like we got... What is that? Is this some kind of gum? 
just some kind of gum or something or some kind of like shh, I, don't know, I don't know what that is okay okay we got a nest cafe or taster's choice taster's choice coffee okay we got some gum some like chiclet gum god check this out i've never seen this before check out this little this little package of tic tacs there's three tic tacs in there just a little small baby a little small baby package of tic tacs okay all right all right i got you okay we got some non-dairy coffee creamer we got two of those we have a moist towelette and then check this out check this out we got some it doesn't want to come out of this oh there's something else in there too oh man i'm making a mess that's going everywhere okay so we got some irish breakfast 100 percent pure black tea okay so you know get up have you a nice little cup of tea and then we got some what is this some chicken some chicken bouillon yeah sodium free okay so you can so you can you know whip you up some little chicken bouillon there you go okay so this was let's see what now as i'm opening this stuff you guys tell me what what's missing you know what do you think is missing if you're going for this journey haha <laughs> get it journey if you're going on this journey with me and we're going through this keep in mind of, of what is there something blatantly blatantly not here that's missing that needs to be in here i do not know what this is i do not know what this is though Oh, these are little energy tabs. Okay, these are little energy. These are little uh, energy tabs. That's what these things are, and there's four of them. And there's there's two little. You break the little. You break them in half. And, you know they they got a little slit in them. So yeah. Okay, so that that's that's cool. That's cool. Little energy tablets. Not bad. Not bad. Need that. You know. Again, I cannot get stuff back how it's supposed to go. Oh my God, we're in trouble. Yeah, this thing's totally not going to stay now. Yep, that's why I didn't want to open it. Because I knew once I open it, it's not going to go back. Okay, med pack. I'm just going to assume... I'm just going to assume that the med pack has, you know, band-aids and stuff like that in it. And then the little light one. I tell you what, let's go ahead and open that one and see what that's about to. Check that out. All right, let's see. All right, light. Let's make some light. Oh, okay. We got some AAA batteries, and we got a little. Oh, it's already it already works. Boy, that thing. That's a bright. That's a bright little light. And again, you know, from from prior videos, you know, I've talked about my lighting situation here. You know, I got five lights up here, two big brights blaring in my face. So anytime you can see a light to overcome all the light that's coming right here at me, it's it's bright. Yeah, that thing is bright. It's dark in my hall down there, so yeah. Yeah, this is nice. And they give you, uh, he gives you uh, four more batteries. And this thing, uh, uh, I'm assuming it would only take, it takes two batteries. And then we have these little, I'm assuming these are little chemical, these little chemical like glow sticks. That you would just snap them and, and shake them up because there's two parts. That's what it looks like. Yeah, so you would just give them a little, give them a little bendy bend and shake them up. And they'll, you know, they'll start having the reaction. They'll start lighting up. So we have like a yellowy one, a pink one, an orange, and a red one. These things are really neat. I, I don't know outside of, uh, you know, marking or because they're not going to put out that much illumination. Yeah. Anyway, it's neat, right? That's cool. Okay. So that's what's in our little light pack. And we got two of those. Okay. We got two of those. And I tell you what, since we're opening stuff, let's just go ahead and open the med pack. Because I know that as, as soon as I don't, somebody's going to comment, open the med, why didn't you open the med pack? I'm opening the med pack. Calm down. This video is going to be long. And then, you know what's going to happen? I'm sitting here opening all this stuff. People are going to say, God, this video was so long. What are you doing? Okay, we got some more fresh mint. Okay, so uh, outside of the two that were loose in the box... And we have two of these med packs, so we, that means we got four of these. So now, now we're talking. Now we've got enough. We definitely have enough toothpaste to, to keep our teeth clean. BioFreeze Professional Gel. Professional what kind of gel? What kind of gel is this? Okay, this is some menthol. Okay. All right, so we got a little pack of that. 
and we got some first aid burn cream. We got two little packs of the first aid burn cream. Okay, and we got what is this? What is this for? What do you take it for? Oh, it's antihistamine. Okay. And then we got some Amazon labeled ibuprofen, which I'd be scared to take that just because it's got a, it's an Amazon package. I'd be tired to take that, man. You know, you, you take that and suddenly you're in the matrix and you're, you know, uh, yeah, you know, you're, you're totally drinking the Kool-Aid of the system, of the system. Skynet, Skynet will have you. Okay, we got an antacid and another uh, anti-diarrheal, anti not another, but anti-diarrheal. Okay, so for first aid, I don't see, there's no, uh, we don't have any, any like band-aids or anything. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so that's our med pack. Okay, alright, fair enough. Okay, and now, whoa, 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 wait, whoa, 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 we got some more stuff. Okay, we got beverage base orange type three. Okay, so we got two of these to go with our beverage... Lemon lime. Okay, so that's three. And then the, the meal kit had coffee and tea. Had a coffee and tea. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Was that it? And we got three stormproof matches. So that that's good. Okay. 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 We got fire tender. Yeah. Yeah. We got flashlight. Okay. Okay. Now let's see what we got here. We got a a lot of. Minotaur Trading Company's own cans that are sealed. And the reason I opened this before I did the video was I just wanted to see what all I was working with because I got some of these in the the ammo can survival kit. And I didn't want to open one, but I know that you know some of you guys may have questions about well what's in them, you know. I opened one and I'm gonna get all these out, show you, and then I'll show you the one I opened. So have no fear. I sacrificed one of the cans just for you okay this is dark chocolate peanut butter granola okay and what this one contains it says it contains the entree so in in this can you're going to get the dark chocolate peanut butter granola you're going to get a bouillon pack you're going to get a coffee a drink mix and accessory module uh, the accessory module contains three sweet biscuits jam, two sugars, two whiteners, two candies, wet wipe, salt, and pepper. Okay, so we got that. So we got another drink. Very good. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Uh, let's see. Okay, this was what? This was granola. Let's see. Do we have any more granola? Anything like granola? Okay, here's a walnut with apples and raisins oatmeal. Okay, so we got an oat, another, another kind of, well, not oatmeal, granola oatmeal. And this one is the same kind of deal. Contains the entree, a bouillon pack. It, it contains everything this one contains, okay? All right, two of those. Now remember, keep this in mind, 96 hours, okay? Okay, and a third, like, breakfast, strawberries and cream oatmeal, same deal. Has the entree, the bouillon pack, the, and the accessory module, okay? All right, these are all going to be breakfast. Because we got no dedicated breakfast MRE entrees, okay? Like, none of that, okay? All right, let's see. Then we got, what we got here? We got a chicken burrito bowl. Okay, and this is the same deal. It contains the entree, the bouillon pack, and then the accessory module. Okay, so same, same, same kind of deal. Chicken burrito bowl, and this is all going to be your freeze-dried stuff. You know, I'm pretty sure you guys knew that already. Okay, let's see. Okay, then we got steaks with veggies and rice, which contains the exact same thing. The entree, bouillon pack, and their little accessory kit. Okay. Mexican style beans and rice, same deal. Okay. We have two chili with beans, so there's two of those. Now, quickly, we're getting into the territory of okay, we got a, we got a lot of food. We got a lot of food. Okay, we got another one that's pork sausage with veggies and rice. Okay, same same kind of deal. Contains all the other stuff. 
All right, now the ones that are different, and we got two more, and this is going to be, this is everything. This is everything that was in the box, okay? Everything is now out of the box. The last two are these hot beverage kits, okay? And we're going to read those. This contains 10 sugars, 10 whiteners, three or two three in one coffees, which are the ones that obviously three in one coffee, cream, or sugar, two instant coffees, two tea bags, one hot chocolate, and two beef bouillon. There's two of these. Okay, so anybody at home who is, is, is not, you know, anybody at home who's crazy and you're trying to keep up with everything, we now are in the realm of we have a lot of, of drinks and we have a lot of entrees. We have a lot of food. Now, granted, these portions are going to be small, so this is not, I'm assuming, just off the size of this can, being that it also has three biscuits and the freeze-dried food, this is going to be one person. Okay, so I'm assuming this is 96 hours not for multiple people. Like, you're not going to take your family for 96 hours and survive on this, right? Okay, so that's what we got. Now, tell me what you think. With all that, do you think, remember this carries, what I say, how much did I say this was? 285 bucks for the 96 hours. Do you think this fulfilled the 96 hours? Got a hammock and then all the food. The fire stuff, the very limited med kits, the flashlight. Yeah, as I'm putting this up, you guys can go ahead and be firing up your keyboards telling me what you think about this kind of a ration, right? Or ration kit as, as, as Minotaur Trading Company labels this. I'm very interested to know what you guys think about this because to me, this is something that it's, it's an interesting, it's a very interesting concept to make, right? And then, you know, you have to factor in from a business standpoint, who are the people that are going to be crazy enough to buy something like this, right? And then, is it going to serve the intended purpose if you were to use it for the intended purpose? Well, certainly, we're not going to starve to death. And considering that we have, and this is a very big, very big consideration, that we have a source of fresh drinking water, we're not going, we're not going to die of thirst, right? So, there's a whole lot of, open-ended things in here you know especially around the water because this is a lot of water you're going to need a lot of water to to reconstitute the food too you know that's another thing too you know it's not just the drinking water you know it's also the water that you're going to have to have to reconstitute the freeze-dried meals so we're talking about a lot of water so wherever you go you need to find yourself a a situation you know, of where you have a really good fresh water source. And one thing that was not included in here is any kind of, of water filtration. Uh, something, let's see, something that would have drove the price up even more would have been uh, like a Sawyer Mini or a Life Straw, you know, one of just the, the, you know, little Life Straws. Yeah. And I didn't see any, uh, I did not see any uh, water treatment tablets. Hmm. The list is growing. Yeah, hit the comment section, let me know. Okay, so this is, I got this in the survival ammo can. And this is what he dubs his C unit, okay? And what this contains, it contains strawberry jam, three of the sweet biscuits that are in a lot of those meals, the three-in-one coffee. It, this contains toothpaste, two Starburst candies, a coffee, two sugars, two whiteners, a drink mix, salt, pepper, wet white, matches, compass, and soap. So, I did use a P38. You can tell it looks like a shark. It looks like a shark ate that. But I did use a P38 to open this. And we have a MRE strawberry jam. Okay. We have the toothpaste. We have some grape, some grape uh, Skittle. I'm assuming this is a Skittle flavored drink mix, which I think would be awesome if it was like a different flavor because I love Skittles and I shouldn't because those things are really bad for you. But 
nonetheless. And we have this this little bar of soap, which is just something like you would find like in a, a little hotel or motel or whatever. Kind of kind of a deal. Let's see, I need to go this way. Okay. And this is our, our three in one coffee. So I'm assuming that if I were to open up any of those other cans, this is what we're gonna be getting, this this three in one coffee. Okay, and, and this is our compass. It's really small, really small, really tiny. Tiny little compass. But if you set it flat, north, that way, it works. It tells you where north is. Until we have some weird magnetic pole reversal, right? Then then just look south. Or according to people, whatever they think, we're not even gonna be here, so it don't matter. Two sugars, the salt, the pepper, the creamers, two creamers. A moist towelette, the Taster's Choice coffee. So Taster's, wait, did it say it had a regular coffee? It did. A three-in-one coffee and a regular coffee. Okay. And these are some. These are white tip. These are MRE matches. So we have a little, little, uh, a little book of the the white, just plain MRE matches. Okay. So and two Starbursts. Which orange and yellow, which are, you know, I'm going to eat the orange, not the yellow. Here are the biscuits. Okay, these are the biscuits. And they say round biscuits, rich tea. Okay, so these are our biscuits. And there's three. So this is going to be what's in all these other cans. And that's it. Okay. So again, in the comment section, I'm going to wrap this video up because I know I've went, this has went very long and I know many of you have already checked out, but I do like this. This is a really cool idea because this is a steel can. So it's going to take some abuse before you get a breach and, you know, compromise the integrity of the contents, right? So this, I think this is a really good idea. And having your meals, you know, in, in these cans, you know, in this can, like I said, this is going to be for one person. There's no way that the freeze-dry components, and I may open one of these. I'll tell you what, you tell me in the comment section down below. Do you want me to open one of these and, you know, kind of dig into it and see just what kind of portion size we're talking about? Because in the directions here, it says uh, we need six ounces of water to reconstitute. This is the chicken burrito bowl. So, yeah. And in this, you know, we're getting the three biscuits, we're getting some jam, you know, wet wipe, salt, pepper, all that good stuff. Yeah. Let me know. If you want me to open one of these, just tell me in the comment section. Say, hey, hey, yo, yo, B-man, uh, B-rad, uh, you know, to open one of those cans and, and mix it up and let's see what it's all about. I'll do it for you. But I do think that's a really good idea to pack all this in, in, a, in a steel can. I really like it. It's a really good idea. I really do like it. Okay, with that. Hit the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think about 96 hour survival kit, $285, 15 pounds worth of survival goodness. Let me know what the deficiencies were. Let me know what you think about all the components that we took out and looked at and what you think. And like I said, uh, I really do hope that the people over at Minotaur, I really hope that they get on the right track get, or get back on track because I do like a lot of the, the ideas that they were putting out there for people that love this kind of stuff. You know, uh, I really hope they get back on the right track. And with that, guys, I'm out of here. Man, if you made it this far, you are so you boy, you're an MVP. Thank you. I appreciate you. And with that, I'm out of here. I hope you're doing well, and we will see you next time. Peace.